Okay, so I'm going to cover some different ways to loop over an array using Ruby. I'm just on uh, REPL.IT here, REPL.IT, if you want to follow along. But otherwise, you can see you just have a simple array filled with uh, some strings, red, purple, yellow, green, and blue. And we'll start with the basic each. Which will simply iterate through how we want it to. That's the syntax for it there. Um, you'll notice here, though, that if we run this again, I here doesn't exist after the array.each is completed. But if you look at a for loop, oops, see, do is optional as well for a for loop, but you also see that I still exists after the for loop ends. So we can get rid of the do here as well, and this will still run. And that's the main difference between each and a for loop here. It's that I exists after the for loop is completed. Uh, you can use breaks as well with for loops. So here we're checking to see when i uh, equals green, then we're going to have it break. And you can see that's the syntax for that. If i equals green, then break. Don't forget the end sa statement right there. And every time we're running it through, we're just uh, printing out i there. There's also while loops. While loops, uh, I haven't seen uh, too much in Ruby on uh, Ruby or Ruby on Rails yet, but they do exist. This is how you use one. You have to initialize i first, and while i is less than the array dot length, we're just going to put out uh, array <coughs> the array uh, item there. So, and then don't forget you have to also. Uh, increment i there so every time it runs through we're going to add one into one into i uh, at least until i equals the array dot length so if we run this let's see there it runs nicely in addition to while loops we also have do while loops and do while loops they're similar to while loops with the only difference that it checks the condition after executing the statements meaning it will execute the loop body one time for sure. So here, I can show you, we just run it right now. It's gonna break when we hit green. If you go back up to the array, it hits green, so it stops. But I can show how it will run if we hit the first item, which is red in that array it will still run. However, because it immediately runs into red, the first item in that array, it breaks right away and the rest of this code uh, doesn't get run right here. So just showing that um, uh, do while loops, uh, they'll always run at least once. Okay, then we have until. And Ruby until loops, they'll execute the statement or code until the given condition evaluates to true. So until the array uh, item equals green, it's going to print out the array. Now we still have to initialize i there, and we still have to increment it as well every time we run through the loop. So if we run that, there we go, red, purple, yellow, and then it's gonna hit green, and at that point it's going to stop running right there. So we never get green and we never get blue. All right, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.